Yes, thank you, thank you. How old are you, Anand? Just out of curiosity. Okay, so you still have a long way to go. Next five years or so, when do you plan to get married? Uh, thanks for you know motivating me in a way and saying that you know the skill sets are the ones that actually matter. So yeah, not just the degree that. I didn't had any intention to motivate you, but you I know, know I don't know. Happened. It came in my mind <laughs> and I told you, yeah. Hi and good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Yeah, doing wonderfully well. Doing well. Thank you. How are you doing? Perfect. I'm doing great too. Thank you for asking. How has the day been so far? Ah, uh, quite busy but uh, interesting. Yeah, so I've been enjoying. Oh, you've had an interesting day. That's yeah. nice. To something different. What was so interesting? I mean, not different, but kind of yeah, working yeah. So yeah, I was taking interest. That's why day was interesting. So, <laughs> nice. So are you at work right now? Uh, kinda. Uh, because uh, after this session, I'm gonna get busy. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. So, do you follow the hybrid work option in your office, or is it like full-time office? How does it work? It's full-time for me, because one who are self-employed, for them, you know, it is full-time job always. Wow, self-employed. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what kind of business do you do, Anand? Uh, I have different businesses but uh, kind of you know i'm uh, owning an institute here right and apart from that i'm a youtuber so i have to take care of my videos yeah okay all right that's nice and where do you reside at the moment i'm residing here in darbhanga city of bihar from bihar okay never been there what what's that place like Ah, it's a kind of a clean area. It's uh, so you can understand. You know, if you have been to Delhi or other uh, cities, then it yeah. is just like city. You know, so it is overcrowded because of you all over India. I think you know we we are one of the populated country of the world right now. Yeah, India surpassed this area. The even yeah. China's population. So yeah. everywhere people are here. So that's that's what this. city looks like mhm mm okay have you ever traveled to the southern part of india i have never been to southern part of india uh mm -hmm. but i have traveled a lot in eastern part of india and uh, kind of like everywhere but not so far in southern part of india so i uh, i would like to hit the road as soon as mm -hmm. possible because i have not experienced the south culture of india recently <laughs> i have been to darjeeling i yeah, enjoyed Hill, this hill station, okay. So it was mm -hmm. kind of beautiful place. But I want to travel South India as well. I think you are from South India. Yes, I am. Which is why I asked you about mm -hmm. this. Where do you <laughs> Where do you live? I stay in Bangalore. Okay, Bangalore, kind of uh, Silver Valley of India, right? Yeah, now. yeah, Silicon oh. Valley. Yes, it yeah, is. Silicon. <laughs> I'm in Silver Valley yeah, instead of Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's it. What what are your jobs like? I think people living in Bangalore would have multiple jobs right now. Yeah, okay. I think most of them, the young crowd is into the IT sector. Mm -hmm. That that's the uh, that's the major domain, and so am I. But currently, I am not working. I'm looking for a change in my job, so I'm looking out for other options. So hopefully, by this month, I will land a permanent job. So until then, you know, clapping go, you know, takes my time. It's like. because i'm not used to just sitting idle so i was like i had to do something and which is why i enrolled myself for this so this is this keeps me busy for some time and of course i have a little daughter so when needed i can you know just switch back and plan my schedule so it works for me at the moment okay so, great great i think already you are working like you know bringing up children is not a, uh an easy work kind of you know yeah. it is a huge work yeah tell me about it it's It's I think the toughest job in the world. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't experienced. You can tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, you should. You will, of course, in the future. You will. But then I think it's still easier for men than it is for women. 
somehow you know um you know it's just our nature to to just give more than what we can for our children and i i see that happening very naturally to women and of course it does with men too but then more so in in the case of a mother so <laughs> see you you will experience partially of some partially what i am or what other mothers do and fathers do too and it's a beautiful experience though and, and all the pain that you go through now is all worth it at the end of it, at the end of the day so it's i'm trying to enjoy this phase as much as i can <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's kind of beautiful to hear that like you are enjoying this phase but right now people don't want to enjoy this phase as well so kind of you know trends that is going on all over the world right so mm. women women are also you know saying yeah why would i bring up children i don't need to bring up children i don't need to have children now they look at the usa yeah most of the uh, women uh, that yeah. most of the women you know do not like to have children yeah that has been a trend many yeah, people yeah that has been trend but i have seen also like once they are at 40 you know they wish for uh they wish to have children that's also problem because i have been talking with lots of people from usa especially from united mm-hmm. kingdom and i mm-hmm. realized one thing you know after 40 they are craving craving for having children or your kind of settled life yeah um, so uh, i'm not sure whether i'm going to get through this phase or not but to be <laughs> honest here yeah, you are doing huge task yes thank you thank you how old are you on just sort of curiosity uh 25 years old now okay so you still have a long way to go i think career is the main area of focus for you at the moment <laughs> but yeah marriage can happen next 5 years or so when do you plan to get married i don't have any plan to get married so far to be honest okay uh, so uh yes uh if you talk about the career then career started for me you know few years back kind of 2017 and uh, i have been always struggling and uh, mm-hmm. right now it seems like yeah i have settled my businesses a bit so kind of yeah enjoying this phase hmm. is this a business that you set up from the scratch or is it like legacy that has been passed on in the family no no legacy like it, okay. it, i have started with a scratch and even i don't have any scratch to be honest no scratch i made it right so kind of thing yeah wow well, i've been you know rattling my brains over some business ideas myself i thought i could make the make use of this time that i have in hand it it just gets overwhelming sometimes because i don't know from where to start there's so many ideas i don't know you know what to just uh decide on and if it will work what kind of study i need to do and then often i end up thinking i wish i had studied an mba or something like that right i would have had more clarity on how to proceed with this but i know that it is not really required it's just your skill set that matter at the end of the day but yes you just- are right only a skill set that matter because i could see my friends you know they have been doing a uh, kind of first diploma they finish it now they are doing btech now they have they are about to finish the btech and they they have been repenting whole, whole btech like why have i have enrolled in this course you know i should mm. have learned some skills or this or that but mm. it seems like once you, they are going to finish this btech then also they are going to do something like mtech but regretting in life right so mm-hmm. if you are thinking that you know after getting mba or something you are going you going to have a clear mindset or clear goal or kind of clear a stress to do something that's nothing yeah. especially yeah. i think like you'll will have to start right now you'll have yeah. to ponder about these point like what are your good areas or like strengths where you can focus and work on right and to be honest we are living in this 21st century which is driven by technology so every seconds you know you would meet somebody who are doing something different and yeah, you know true. watching them you will feel like i could do this i could do that i could do that and meanwhile you know you get confused 
yeah true true it's so many budding ideas everywhere and like damn why didn't i think of it you know or maybe something similar on time if i had thought i could have done this i know we tend to have these kind of thoughts but uh, yeah uh, thanks for you know motivating me in a way and saying that you know the skill sets are the ones that actually matter so yeah not just the degree that will keep me going <laughs> I didn't had any intention to motivate you, but you I know, know, I don't know. Happened. It came in my mind, and I told you, yeah. Yeah, coming from a business person, it's it's good to hear. So you know, that is something that I'm going to take away from the session. 